I want to take a minute to address something, and I'm doing this because I'm hearing all of these false Trump prophets, proven false Trump prophets, speaking about how an Elijah moment is coming. But what they don't want their followers to know is that the Elijah moment has already occurred, and I have videos unequivocally proving that has happened. This is one, just one of the videos on my other channel that was dated August the 31st of 2021. That is the one that proves the Elijah moment has occurred. And if you know anything about the Elijah moment, Elijah was the one sole prophet that stood against hundreds of false prophets of Baal, the storm god. He stood against, He was the one that stood against many and prevailed in the name of the Heavenly Father, Lord and Savior. He prevailed against all of them, and they were all t taken to the brook and beheaded. In 1 Kings chapter 18, you can read about that. So this is the one video that unequivocally proves the Elijah moment has already occurred. I was the one prophet that stood against many and prevailed in the name of Jesus Christ. This is another video that I did that unequivocally shows that the Elijah moment has already occurred. I was the one that stood against many and prevailed. And I pointed this out in that video, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 20 through 22, that when a, a prophet... A self-proclaimed prophet makes a very specific prophecy, time-specific prophecy, like they all did, and that prophecy does not occur just as stated, then they are not a prophet sent by God. They are a prophet of Satan and not the Heavenly Father and Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They are all prophets of Satan, and that has been unequivocally proving, proven, doing Satan's work just as spoken of in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. They are doing the workings of Satan. This is also another video I did that unequivocally proves the Elijah moment has already occurred, that I stood before all the false prophets of Donald Trump, the prophets of Baal, and prevailed. And here was the thumbnail of that video showing the Elijah moment has already occurred. And you can go to 1 Kings chapter 18 and read about the Elijah moment when Elijah stood against all the false prophets of Trump, Baal, and prevailed in the name of Jesus Christ. You will also read in there how he mocked all those false prophets. He mocked them. And I want to do this now for you prophets of Trump. Baal, raise up your voices like a trumpet. You need to cry out a little louder. I don't think your savior, Donald Trump, can hear you. Perhaps he is asleep. Or perhaps he is on a journey in Mar-a-Lago. And you must cry out louder to your Lord and Savior, Trump. Cry out aloud. Raise up your voices like a trumpet, false prophets of Donald Trump. The prophets of the storm god, Baal. Raise up your voices. I don't think he can hear you. Realize you have already witnessed the Elijah moment, the one that has stood against many. But the funny part about that is I didn't even have to do anything because these false prophets don't know Scripture well enough to realize that they themselves set God against their prophecy by violating the very word of God. They violated just one scripture, Jeremiah 23, verse 30. God is against the prophets that steal the prophetic words of another because they all stole one another's prophecy and were spinning the same narrative of Donald Trump's return. They, they themselves set God against the return of Donald Trump. But also the very next verse, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 31. God is against the prophets that use their tongue, their mouths, and say, thus saith the Lord, because they all do this as they prophesy. All of the Trump prophets use their mouth and say, thus saith the Lord, as they prophesy from their hearts and give their lying divinations Therefore, they have violated the scripture, setting God against anything they say. 
when they open their mouths and use their tongue to say, Thus saith the Lord, they have violated the very word of God, setting God against them. There's no place in Scripture that states that only a prophet of God can do this. There is no exemption for any prophet to give a prophecy and use their tongue to say, Thus saith the Lord, but they all do it. And because they do not know Scripture, they did this, which set God against their prophecy. So see that I did not even have to do anything. They sabotaged themselves, thus sabotaging the election of Donald Trump. By setting God against their own prophecies because they know not the word of God. And one day that soon they will go before the Lord and say, just as scripture states, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy and do wonders and works in your name? And the Lord will tell them, depart from me, I did not know you. Y'all be sure to know your scripture and stay in the holy word of God so you don't make the same mistakes these false prophets do. And also, so you could recognize a false prophets, a false prophet, when you see or hear them, all the false Trump prophets, the prophets of Baal, the storm god. God bless.